other voices echoing around uh, to cover their own voice. But there is a voice here today, the voice of the Lord, Lord that reigns supreme over everything. Bible says His voice is powerful. He can do that which your heart desire. He can do that your dream. He has given. He has a capability, capacity. He has a ghost to bring to pass. Nothing can stop him. Even when other things are locked up, His voice can never be locked up. Hallelujah! Somebody, He said, His voice of the Lord is powerful. Let's look at it again. The second phrase says, "Is full of." Majesty. Majesty is a pronouncement from the mouth of the king. And they will call anyone a king that doesn't have a domain. King has to do with king and his domain that we call kingdom. King don't speak a word of negotiation. Speak, kings make an utterance of decree. When king speaks, they speak authority. When king speaks, they speak the power. When speak, king speaks, people tremble. There was a king in the scripture, a natural apostle. Bible says when he was on it, he was on his on his throne, on his throne, and with a garment, a purple linen, and at his appearance, but people says his voice like the voice of the Lord. But there is this one Lord, Lord that reigned over everything. That day, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords knocking down, and the man was eating off. I'm talking about that same voice, the voice that overrules whatever pandemic that is going around the world. The voice of the Lord. Here it is many voices are out today, as you all know. Many voices are heard. We have had different news of the nation. Many voices is being published. Many are meant for self praise, praise and praise, full of deceit. Oh, they have had a good solution here. Another one says there's no solution here. Full of confusion. Many comes to bring bad news. That's in the most voice that we are hearing this day. But the voice of the Lord that is speaking to you is to bring good news to you. It's to bring deliverance to you. It's to bring healing to you. It's to bring elevation to you. It's to bring hope for you. It's to bring salvation and holiness unto you. It's to bring righteousness unto you. It's to bring grace. It's the word of grace. Hallelujah. There is a voice that I know. What an authentic and majestic voice to reckon with. The voice that I have come here to echo is the voice of the Lord. Come on, somebody says the voice of the Lord is powerful. Come on, say the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Here is there are different voices that we need to take note. Voices that you don't allow into your soul, especially at this time. There are voices that is called invisible voice, according to Acts of the Apostle chapter 7, chapter 9, verse 7. There's a voice that comes, the voice that nobody speaks to you, but the voice from your heart. Based on the things that are heard outside, it will not allow you to sleep. That voice kept on coming, you will die into it. That voice kept on saying, even when you call for you sleep, you say, yes, you have contacted this. It is a strange voice, voice of invisible. I speak to you. The visible voice of the Lord, uh, strike that voice uh, that be speaking in Jesus. In that, that same act of the Apostle chapter 10, verse 3, we are made to know of a voice that is called commanding voice. It can detail, it can ask some people to go. Go somewhere and commit suicide. Go somewhere and kill. I speak forth for you that are coming through, going through all the oppression of the commanding voice that you cannot control. Today, the voice of the Lord swallowed that voice. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are delivered by the voice of the Lord Amen. from that voice that will command you to do that which is of evil. In the name of Jesus, there's a voice in Zechariah chapter 11, verse, in, verse 13 says, there's a voice that is called holy and willing voice. Holy, H-O-W-L-I-N-G. And winning voice. Some voice is only here when there is a bad news. When someone dies. When there is calamity. When there is pandemic. When there is a, 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 a ear bone disease. You hear such a voice. Have you heard? People carry it. They carry it on media. They don't give any good news. But I brought the good news to you today. Good news from the Lord Jesus Christ. Voice of grace, voice of mercy. I speak to you. It will be the holy and the willing voice that will be controlling your life. You heard about people, but hear what that Psalm 90 says. Thousand may fall by our side and ten thousand by our right side. It's only with our eyes shall we see. And behold the reward of the wicked. I speak to you. The voice of the Lord is powerful and good, full of majesty. Destroy that voice of willing. 
that says they will soon cry such a voice, speak such a voice around you and your family. I speak the voice of the Lord to swallow and to silence such voice in your life in the name of Jesus. I hope somebody by the bedside is saying a big amen to that. There's a voice that's called a trembling voice or a fearful voice. God said, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but of powers, love, and sound mind. I speak forth. Jeremiah 30, verse 5, spoke about such a voice that, 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 that speaks such, and I decree in the name of Jesus, that such voice be silenced. No more trembling in the name of Jesus. No more trembling in the name of Jesus. No more trembling in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you are, I want you to pray one prayer. Right away, Lord, every voice that has been troubling my life, let the voice that is powerful, that is called the voice of the Lord, swallow them up now. Pray that prayer now in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer now. Pray that prayer now as we continue. Lord, every voice, every strange voice.